today I'm in the backyard with Sebastian, grilling and chilling. Oh, come on, buddy. It's not that bad. <laughs> Hello there, my beer drinking friends, and welcome to another Two Brew Tuesday. I'm your host, Andy, and on today's episode, I'm actually in the backyard. My typical Sunday traditional meal is a rotisserie chicken. It's smoking on the grill right now, as you can see. If you're like me, or anywhere probably in the southern half of the United States, it's been pretty damn hot the last few weeks. So I'm trying to chill out with a couple of nice cold craft beers. Um, one of the bigger trends in the craft beer industry for the last few years for summer beers, for seasonals, has been a Goza. Uh, this one comes to us from Black Market Brewing Company. They're a brewing company out of Temecula, California. They originally started on a little teeny tiny one barrel system. Um, basically, I have some friends who actually brew bigger batches than that. But uh, since then, they've grown a bit and uh, this Tradecraft series is a series of gozas that they've done uh, flavored with different types of fruit. Um, goza is a German style sour beer. Uh, it's usually done mostly with a lactobacillus to give you that tart flavor. And it's also got a little bit of salt. So these are usually very refreshing beers. Let's crack this one open and see what we're dealing with. So let's see, looking at this beer right up front, it's got a nice golden color to it. Um, I wouldn't expect the cucumber to really lend much color to the beer, so that's uh, pretty nice. It's got a little bit of cloudiness to it, uh, can't quite see through the glass. Uh, it's got a small uh, white head that dissipates pretty quickly. All right, the aroma. You get a little bit of that tartness right up front, but then it just becomes all about the cucumber. I mean, this smells amazing. I actually grew a bunch of cucumbers uh, this year in my uh, vegetable garden out front, and um, this reminds me of uh, picking a fresh cucumber. I mean, it's an amazing aroma. So the taste. This tastes like a goza. I mean, it's got a very sharp uh, tartness in the beginning. Just a little bit of hint of salt, just to keep it nice and refreshing. And then it's got that strong cucumber flavor in the finish. Um, really easy beer to drink. Again, perfect for the hot weather. I think that's you know the big reason why a lot of craft breweries do these beers for the summer. I mean, they're super refreshing. It's uh, great on a hot day. So as, as you know, I'm gonna have this with some nice grilled rotisserie chicken. Got a Gonna, I think this, the sourness is going to pair really well with the smoky flavors from the chicken. So our next beer comes to us from uh, Angel City Brewing in downtown LA. We've uh, had a couple of their beers on before. Uh, this one is their Sunbather. This is the first in a series of beers. This is a single hop sour ale. Um, now a lot of times with a sour beer you can't really do uh, much hopping because the hops are actually a natural uh, antibacterial agent. And so they really you know, restrict the growth of the bacteria that's gonna give you that sour character. So what a lot of brewers are doing now is doing a kettle soured beer. So they're actually souring the beer up front, then they'll boil it, so killing all the bacteria when it gets to the appropriate sourness. And then when they, when they chill it down, they're hitting it with a traditional Saccharomyces yeast to, to give you the alcohol. And then they can still dry hop it because they're not worried about that sour bacteria because it's already created all the sourness they're looking for. Nice little pop on that can. So let's uh, pour it in a glass and see what we're looking at. So this guy's got a nice bright gold color, uh, super thick head as you can see there, lots of, lots of bubbles. It uh, looks like it's pretty highly carbonated. Got very good clarity. I mean, I can see all the bubbles all the way through the glass and I can still see the camera through there. Wow, so this is a dry hopped with Citra and the Citra character comes out right up front. Um, 
you get a little bit of that tart character in the background, but if you were to taste this beer blind, without, without tasting it, just the aroma, you might think you're drinking like an IPA right here. Mm. That is really nice. It's got a, a very mellow sourness. It's not quite as sour as the Goza that we tried up front, um, but then it does have, you know, a, a medium amount of bitterness, uh, more than you're gonna get in most sour beers. And it's full of that citric character. I mean, it's got this tropical fruit, uh, peach stone fruit kind of flavor to it. Um, and it finishes really dry. This guy checks in at 5.1% ABV, so it's, it's pretty light. Uh, very enjoyable on a nice hot day. And uh, I gotta say, I'm gonna enjoy some of this beer with my chicken as well. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, watching this episode. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out. Um, don't forget, you can also subscribe to our channel so you get uh, notifications on when we have new episodes. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And who knows, maybe I'll go see if Sebastian has any notes on, the, on these beers. Although I, I'm pretty sure he's, he's more interested in the chicken that's coming up in a little bit. Cheers, everybody. Okay, Sebastian and Wesley. What do you guys think of the beer? You're doing this.